A year ago, Congress passed legislation requiring background checks on all gun sales, including those purchased online or at gun shows. President Biden signed it into law. As CBS 2's Christine Sloan reports, a New Jersey senator joined Newark's mayor to call now on federal agencies to enforce that law. The Texas shopping mall mass shooting and the senseless murders of an eight-year-old boy and 27-year-old man at a Newark gathering, once again putting the spotlight on gun violence. This Newark resident says he's had enough. Only thing I hear is gunshots. That's all. I'll be home watching television to hear gunshots ring out in the middle of the night. Newark's mayor says New Jersey has one of the toughest gun laws in the country, but that doesn't stop guns from coming in from other states. He says three weapons were recovered at the Newark crime scene, but it's unclear if they were legally purchased. The problem is there are other gun laws in other states that uh, encroach upon New Jersey safety. Senator Robert Menendez says the new legislation will help close the background check loophole and help New Jersey. Whether you set up a booth at a gun show or post an ad online to be conducting background checks on gun sales. The senator is calling on agencies like the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms to issue rules and regulations. We need registered gun sellers, those with federal firearms licenses, to spot people who may be trying to avoid these new rules and regulations. At RTSP training facility, one of the owners says New Jersey doesn't have a loophole problem. He says anyone who wants to purchase a handgun has to go through several layers of checks. You get a firearms identification card, you have to get a handgun permit, and then we do a final background check at the point of sale. So there really are no loopholes in New Jersey. The illegal guns are the problem, okay? There's no way in the world we can control what happens on the street. As for the ATF, it'll take the agency several weeks to review the new law and come up with a plan to enforce it across the nation. In Newark, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. While the legislation enhances background checks for those under 21, anti-gun activists say that it fails to ban automatic rifles. The law, though, unlocks $250 million for community violence intervention programs, and the Newark Community Street Team will get $2 million to help crime victims.